Hey, shalom, shalom is well. First half, once a call of all. Yeah, how about you, Mel Shai? Bosh, you, Mokal Kudash. To be honest, to the elders and the apostles of greatness, one. Shalom to the brothers and the highways and byways. Preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Now, this is your brother Shapal from the James Jamaica camp. Uh, I'd like to do a lesson today upon this um, US Navy ship. Alright. Supposed to dock in Jamaica. Alright. So, let's dive into it. You know, and basically the reason why I'm bringing this out is because, look, man, the question I like to ask people out there, even in, in Jamaica, right, saying, when since, right, have we gotten any help, you know what I mean, from, from Esau, Edom, right, this is so-called white man, right, saying he's supposed to know that you know, these people inch, um, doesn't have our interests at heart, man. Right, so when you see things like this, it, it, it begs to, 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 to question, you know what I mean, these things, you know? We, the, these things need questions, man. Why are these, why are these people coming to, coming to aid us in medical um, surgery and, 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 and all of these things, man? All right? So, so we'll just dive into it. All right, so this is a article from The Loop. All right, so it's a... A U.S. Navy hospital ship to provide medical service to Jamaicans. All right, and need I remind you that the America, where 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 um where the ship is from, all right, doesn't give free healthcare. All right, so if if you think that something is not changed or something is not wrong with this picture, man, all right, then hey, you're blinded. All right, you are blinded. Because guess what? These people doesn't give free health care in, in their country, alright? But they're coming to other other countries, right? so, so such as the, 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 the Latinos or Latin American countries, alright? And the Caribbean. Alright, and if you notice who they're targeting is, is um us as Israelite, Hebrew Israelite man. Alright, and we say Hebrew Israelite speaking about the nat the Native American Indians. All right, you like you Latinos and you so-called niggers, man. All right, you are the Israelite, the true biblical Israelite, man. All right, from the nation of Israel. All right, seen, and you are being targeted. I right. say so, so Jamaica can expect to benefit from the visit of the U.S. Navy hospital ship in um uh, the U.S. N.S. Uh, Comfort I.T. AH20, I say, which will be anchored along the shores of Kingston to offer medical service between October the 28th and November the 1st. So the ship, the ship's third visit to the island, um, and over 10,000 persons received medical care in the previous mission. All right, it's um, for this mission is uh, approximately 150 surges will be conducted. On the uh, on board the U.S. NS Comfort Ship, basic uh, medical service will be provided at a walk-in site uh, at the Sabina Park Complex, at right. uh, Kingston, and the Greater Portmore Healthcare Center, Health Center in um, Saint um, Saint Catherine, Slovakia. All right, so it's a Minister of Health and Wellness, Jamaica West Select sur Surgery candidate and conduct um, pre-screening pre uh, before making recommendation to the Comfort Medical Team for surgery. Surgery candidate um, will be drawn primarily <coughs> from existing waiting list, um, says, uh, sorry, waiting list within the public health system. So if you're on a waiting list um, to see the doctor, you know what I mean, or you have an appointment or whatever, but um, basically you're waiting. Uh, you're going to be taken off of that waiting list. You know what I mean? And you know, put in, in line for the for, uh, for this, on this ship, all right? Okay, so it's um, candidates with the optimal clinic background and uh, those 
who will be on the waiting list for the longest time frame will be um, prioritized on board. Surgeries will fall under the category of uh, of optimal ophthalmology, all right, uh, general surgery, orthopedic surgery, uh, oral moxiofacial uh, surgery, plastic surgery, wound care, and urology. Now, plastic surgery is not cheap, man, not even in, in America. So why are we getting this free surgery from these people, man? And these are expensive searches, right? And that's the question we need to ask ourselves, man. Right? Hey, and, and this go back to the curses where our people are under, man. You know? Because people are very sickly. Alright? Well, let's continue. It's, uh, the categories of surgery offered um, at the medical walk-in site are... Um, adult medical service um, services, all right. Pediatric medical service, dental service, op uh, um, optom optometry, um, physical therapy, and dermatology. All right. The walk-in site in Kingston and Saint um, Saint Catherine will be uh, operated from eight to five. It's like from eight to four p.m. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day um, on the first come first serve basis in order to see many patients as possible each person will, will be seen by only one provider unless the, that provider deems additional service are needed for the identified conditions all right and are available at the site sorry all right so, so, so the, the visit of the USNS comfort is part of the ship's five-month uh, deployment to Latin America and the Caribbean on a medical assistant mission. Uh, the USNS Comfort operates. It's um, is part of the operation. Is part of the um, deepening of the U.S. engagement in the region under the health pillar of the U.S. Caribbean 2020 um, strategy. This marks the seventh. Uh, seventh hospital ship deployment to the region since 2007. The USNS Comforter, Comfort medical team had provided care in the Dominican Republic, <laughs> Ecuador, Grenada, Panama, Trinidad, right, St. Lucia, and St. Kitts and Nevis. Right. Hey, hey, trust me, man. And it says up here, say the visit of the comforter ship, um, ships uh, is part of a part of the five ship, um, five ship. It's like it's part of the ship's five month deployment to Latin America and the Caribbean on a medical assistant mission. All right, hey, and, and trust me, man, hey, this go back to us as he raised a light, man, as I said before, all right. It's, hey, let's get into a scripture before we play the video because I have a video we we'll, we'll like to play. All right, so let's just get into this. Let's just, uh, let's just get a, a, a scripture. All right, I'm reading out of the Bible right in front of me. All right, so this is. Alright, so this is Psalms. This is Psalms 83 and verse. We we'll start at verse 1. Alright, it so says, Keep not thou silent, O Yahweh. Alright. So let's get back this picture on the screen. It so says, Keep thou not silent, O Yahweh. Alright. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh. Alright. Um, Yahweh is the name of, of the Father. Alright. In the Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, the name of the Son. Okay? Not not um, Jehovah. Alright? Not Yahweh, but Yahweh in the Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai, the Son. Not not Jesus, not Yahshua. Alright? So, so for a Lord, our enemies make a tumult against me. 
Slacker, the enemies make a tumult, and they that hate me have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and what the people of, of the Mosai, the Israelites, all right? And, and um, consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come let us cut them off from being a nation, right? that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance, all right? Hey, so, so far they have consulted together with one consent, right? Uh, so they are confederate against thee. All right, so the tabernacle of Edom, all right, and the Ishmaelites and the Moab, right, and the Hagarines, all right. So, so you have Edom, right, which is so called white men, you know, as we said before, they, hey, they make a part, man, right, to put out the name of uh, uh, Israel out of the earth, man, all right. And if they are the way, they would inject us with a lot of, uh, hey, they would uh, create mass. Um, destruction upon our people, man. You know? So, hey, nevertheless, we'll just get into this video. Alright? Let's pause this first and then we'll just. Um, I got a um, sort of video um, from someone and I kind of listened to it and I'm like, yeah, 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 right, right, right. Um, it's about um, people from St. Lucia worried about the United Nations the U.S. Navy ship that is going to Grenada, is going to um, St. Kitts and Navis and one other island that I've written down that I'll say, speak, I'll read out later. But apparently um, they're really worried about the ship coming to their country because they're saying that they live in the United States. They don't get no free medical, nothing is free. And yet this boat is going out to three Caribbean islands and is giving them free medical um, services and treatments. And those who have been on the list the longest are going to be prioritized. Now, why are they concerned about this, you might ask? Well, in the 1930s to the 1970s, they had an experiment called the Duskety um, Study. And in that, they chose, they selected black people to um as as guinea guinea pigs I, I can only think of and they injected them with syphilis and you know just wanted to see how the bodies react to syphilis and a lot of them died i think over 128 died and they're now suing the health service for 10 million i think they've already done it and they've won it or something but anyway, you can you can look it up if you think I'm exaggerating and you think black people are always got a chip on their shoulders, always think, feel as though they're being victimized. You can check it out. Tuskegee study, the syphilis study. And apparently this is why they are so concerned. Similar, sh similar scenario. Only they're doing it under the guise that they're trying to help people who are... Um, who have all of these problems and i think why it doesn't help is that um i think just hey i want to say this man check the the, the history and the the track record of these of these people man right as we hear she see on um, this lady's talking about the tuskegee experiment let's check the, the history of these people when ever since when 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 these people has ever helped us you know Check it. Hey, even 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 the earthquake over there in Haiti, right? A lot of people. You have the, the, the Haitians caught a lot of the, the the Red Cross people which came in to help, right? right? People caught them smuggling away the, the the children, all right? Smuggling away children, man, and bringing them back to America, man, all right? See? Hey, these hey these people, man. Trust me. Let's play the video. The Scientology, they went to Saint um they went to Saint Lucia and the the ship was quarantined. There was a measles quarantine or something. So it looks as though they're trying to help in that vein, although they're going in under another vein. Well that is what 
the, the inhabitants of St. Lucia and these Caribbean, Caribbean islands feel. They feel they're trying to wipe them out by injecting them with diseases. I mean, when you go to a doctor, you go there on trust. You believe that whatever he's giving you is there to help you. And a lot of these people, it ha they did it in Guatemala as well. Uh, the poorest people they chose to use on, in their study. The, the, the lowest educated. And what they did is that they injected them with syphilis and just watched them. They would, even though they had penicillin, you know, I think it was found about 20 or 30 years later, they still didn't try and um, eradicate the disease. Instead, they just literally watched them and saw what syphilis would do to a person um, through why they was injecting it. And they was injecting it every two weeks or every month in these people. So can you imagine how frightening that must be to think that your, your doctors or your health service is going to put you up as a candidate for this experiment? Call it an experiment because that's what they called it before. Under the, but these people are going in under the guise of healthcare. I'm putting the link in because I was wondering if it was just another, um, another, you know, clip sensationalism, you know, hype. That's what I thought. That was my immediate reaction. Then I kind of looked up, you know, black people being injected with diseases, and then up came the Tuskegee study. Um, study, and then this morning I woke up and I thought, is there really a cruise ship going to Grenada and and, and Trinidad and St. Um, Kitts and Nevis? Well, and behold, you have to know what to search for, though. Otherwise, you miss it. And lo and behold, they America. Investors all yeah, America. Yes. Experiment. Okay. Call it an experiment it because recording. that's what they called it before. Under, right. But these people are going in under the guise of healthcare. I'm putting the link in because I was wondering, it is, and then up came the Tuskegee study, um, study, and then this morning that is coming to St. Lucia and, and Trinidad. Oh, you miss it, and lo and behold, there is a hospital ship. So anyway, um, okay, this is it. Okay. I'm going to let you listen to the concerns of two individuals. And then I'm going to just read out quickly because I have to go to work. There is a cruise ship that is coming to St. Lucia in the name of hell from America. They claim the USA, I know what, data, I know what. But my advice to you guys, if you are wanted, take it. If you do not want it. I guess I will come to your burial when the day comes. I have to tell it to you all as is. I live in America and I do not have free health insurance, free doctor visits or anything. If I go to the doctor, I have to pay out of pocket if I don't have insurance. If I go to the hospital, I will get bills at my house. Do not go on that cruise ship looking for health care. They will inject you all with certain things and say that they're giving you all health care. Do not become a lab rat to those so-called American doctors. I am warning you all. Do not trust that. This is the other one. That's only space shorts. Solution. I want to add on to what she's saying. I'm a solution. I live in America. She said nothing wrong. My wife is a journalist, and she actually interviewed a woman that was at a meeting in Atlanta at the CDC. The woman had to give up her cell phone, and everyone in the room, a cameraman, they wanted to give her the cell phone. They were having a conference call with doctors all over America, investors all over America. They have, the woman, when she left the um, conference meeting, um, she was so livid, she was so hurt, she broke down crying. When she met my wife, she told my wife everything, and she saw and heard. These people, these uh, pharmaceutical industry people, and the doctors and all the investors on Wall Street, actually have patents and they own the disease. They're creating diseases. They release, they, they plan to release a lot of stuff on people. And they have the cure, they have the vaccines, and they're going to make trillions. 
the chicken gun and all these other things, the Zika virus, these are things that they release on black nations because they actually want to get the people sick. Yeah, as as we um make mention to, to chicken gun yeah, and all of these things, you have a outbreak of dengue in Jamaica, all right, since recently. All right, and um yeah, I believe uh this really personal uh I forgot his name, his wife died. You know what I mean? Of the, of the same dis- um, illness. You know what I mean? So, this has been a outbreak in Jamaica for, for the last, what, couple of months now? Right? Or two or three months. You know what I mean? People been been sick. You know? There's, there's something going around, man. Right? In the, in the, in the, in the, you know, people suspected it to be in, in the, um, you know, in, 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 the, in, the, in the rain. Right? And hey, and hey, mosquitoes and all of that, man. You yeah. know? Now, a lot of young people don't believe there's a God. You don't believe in Christ in the land. I'm telling you, he's the one that's been stopping what they're doing. They want to actually cause a, um, an epidemic. They want to cause people to fall, but um, fall dead and get sick. So they will come with a vaccine and people, they will charge a bunch of money. People will be selling home, selling land, whatever they can. To, uh, the price of your lands will go down cheap because the nation is sick. So yeah, just so hard, man. It's a law that is 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 um sanctioning all of these things, man. Right? The law is causing all of these things to happen. All right? There is nothing outside the power, right, of the most high. Okay. So having said that, I think it's right now to pull the scripture. All right. So this is a uh, matter of fact. It's in the curses of Deuteronomy. All right. Let's just get Deuteronomy first. All right. Let's just get Deuteronomy first. All right. Before we get this. All right. Okay. So this is uh. This is Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy uh fifteen. It's like here. Deuteronomy 28, we start with verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandment and his stature, which I have commanded thee, all right, this day, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right? All right? Uh, okay, it's, um, curses shall be in a city. All right? And curses shall be in a field. Curses shall be in a basket. Curses shall be... Be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, right? The increase of thy kind, right? And the flock of thy sheep, right? Curses shall be when thou go it out, um, come a sin and, and curses shall be when thou go it out. All right, I'll read verse 20. All right, it says, And the Lord shall send upon thee cursing and vexation and rebuke in all. That thou sit, um, settest thine hands uh, for to do until thou be destroyed, right? And until thou perish quickly because of thy wickedness and all thy doings, um, whereby thou hast forsaken me, all right? Verse 21 said, um, The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, all right? All right? And if you can get the word, the, 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 let's look this up in the. My sword. Alright. Because the scripture says, Lord, I'm going to make the pestilence cleave unto thee, right? So we can just read it out of this. Oh, s- mm, let's go back. Pestilence is what we want. Alright, it so says pestilence. Alright. And it says pestilence, plague. All right, uh, marine cattle disease. All right, all right, so that goes back to disease, man. Disease, plagues, or pestilence. All right, hey, right. go back to z- diseases, man. All right, see. So the Lord said, I'm going to make all these diseases cleave unto us until they will be destroyed, man. You know? Yeah. 
Alright? Alright? Seeing so the Lord is the one who is making this happen, man. Alright? Uh, so it's until we have consumed thee from all the land, where he goes to possess it. Alright, another one which I wanted to get is uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28 verse. Uh, 61. See, also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of the law, right? Um, then will I, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed, and he shall be left um, few in numbers, wherein as he were, were as the stars of heaven, right? Um, for the for our multitude, right? Because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy God. And that's the, the, the key thing, man. That's the reason why I was brought over here um, in this in this Western world, man, to serve our punishment, right? See? We didn't come over here on a cruise ship, right, to enjoy, right? And to be proud that we are Jamaicans and, and um, Trinidadians and whatever, you know? We came over here, right, chained. Right, to serve slavery and all of these things, these diseases and all of these things, man, is the Lord, the Hawabashi, may I have done this to us because we have transgressed his laws and status. Right? Deuteronomy again, so I'm going to read out um, a lot of the curses, but this is the main one to, to let us know that we are the people um, which is speaking about in the scriptures, man. And we fulfill these curses, we, we these curses fulfill upon. Alright? So this is, uh, Deuteronomy 28 again, right, verse 45, right, so it says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and shall overtake thee, until thou be destroyed, because thou will not hearken, it's like a, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes which I have commanded thee, right, and he shall be upon thee, it's like, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for wonders and upon thy seed forever. Right? And that is how you know that we are the people, we are the children of Israel, man. Right? Because the sign is upon us. Right? Esau blessing was, was the fatness of the earth, man. And these men go going through the world and, and conquering, you know what I mean? These, these men going through the world and taking lands and conquering, man. These men are living fat, right? These men get the best parts of the world, man. All right? See? And what? We're at the bottom. We call the transgress. The laws and statutes are even the father. But soon the table is going to be turned. All right? So let's get another scripture before we play it, um, the video. See, so just to show you. You know? Um... Alright, so this is uh, Jeremiah uh, 30 and verse 12. So for thus said the Lord God, Thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. Right? No matter how we try to get uh, any type of medical um, thing. Uh, <laughs> look, no medical assistant can, can, can bound up these wounds, man. Because these wounds are spiritual. Alright? These wounds are spiritual, man. Alright? It's coming from the time of slavery, man. We are destroyed as a nation. Alright? See? And the most I put uh, curses or uh, uh, diseases on us, man. So, uh, trust me, these men are going to make sure that we stay under these curses. Through the power and spirit of Yahweh, of course. Alright? So there is no healing medicine. Thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with a wound of an enemy. And who is the enemy, man? The scripture in Deuteronomy says, You have been sold. You're going to be sold unto your enemy. Right? Look, we come over here in slavery, man, and we've been sold unto our enemy. Who is the enemy? Who were we sold to? Right? You, you do the maths. Right? Uh, the person where we came over this side of the world chained on cargo slave ship and was sold to, those are our enemies. Alright? Okay. Alright? 
all right, with a chastisement of a cruel one, all right? And those people are cruel, man. These people are cruel. These people don't have the heart, all right? These people is not in them to do righteousness, man. So for the multitude of thine iniquity, all right, because thy sins were increased, all right, and this is, this is the reason why all those things is been happening to us. So why curse thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is, is incurable, the multitude of thine iniquity, for the multitude of thine iniquities, okay? Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, have done this unto us, man. All right. We just continue. Um, thank God it didn't happen. It didn't happen the way they expected. The, uh, the human body fought back. But this is not a lie. This is this is real. These people are planning to get a lot of people sick, especially black nation. Almost every time you have a bunch of diseases, certain certain shop. Always a black nation, a black country, Ebola, Africa, Brazil, um, Zika virus, the Caribbean, Chikungunya. If I pronounce it right. They have a plan, they have an agenda to become richer than rich. And they're the ones raising all these diseases. They're the ones who have the vaccines to cure people. If you think I'm crazy, when Ebola was released, all of a sudden, a vaccine shop when a white man got, got it. But no vaccine for black people. And the vaccine doesn't work for people that have melanin in their skin. Who else has melanin but black people? Brown people. It is crazy, and they play dumb. A lot of white people act like they don't see what's going on. They know what's going on. St. Lucians, they want your land, they want your country. Jamaicans, they want your land, they want your country. To Brazilians, wherever you are, if you have beautiful tropical land where it's warm and they have wonderful climate, they want it. They want the beachfront property. They want everything that you we, um that, that we have. Do not be fooled. Chastity and all this bourgeoisie. Leadership in the Caribbean, they sell out our nation, they sell out our land to a lot of foreign interests. The Chinese, the Europeans, the Japanese, they do not care because it does not affect them when when um, when they get their last check and move to another country. They don't have to be bothered by our uh, turmoil and our pain. So, <clears throat> so that's what I got, and that's what prompted this video. Um, just um, a quick overview. Um, syphilis experiment was done in Guatemala and in Texas in America. Um, they used constricted soldiers, prostitutes, mentally ill and orphans to experiment on. Um, no one gave their consent and they were not informed that they were being infected with syphilis and gonorrhea. Um, what else? Uh, the study took from 1932 to 1972. Hey, and if you notice, man, this is all people, man. All oh, this is all people. Check it. The, 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 do your own research, man, on the syphilis, the Tuskegee experiment, man. All these have been done to our people, man. All right? Um, study um, contributing to the health of black people would not allow them to treat the disease because it would interfere with the study. There was no rights for Guatemalans. Um, I wrote this out in really fast writing, so I can't even read it. Normally I type it up. Um, they were told to discontinue the test because they were illegal and ethically wrong. Mm. So, um, apparently started it off in America, and then because they was told it was ethically wrong, he decides now to go to Guatemala, and um, to a place where he could get away with it. Um, class action lawsuit against the US government. Um, syphilis leads to serious medical and mental illness, and can kill. Unwitting participants in the study injected um, this one particular man, they injected him every fortnight and once every month, but didn't tell him why. Or every month. 
um, July 24, 1972, the Tuskegee syphilis experiment. I think that's when... Hey, and you can see that hey, all people, especially over here in the third world, right, so-called third world country, right, is being deemed as, as some people of, of low IQ, man, right? Otherwise known as you people are stupid people, man. All right? Because this 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 war, war banned and they couldn't get away with it in America. Well, they, they got away a little, you know. See, but as soon as they, they they've been, as soon as they start catch up on them, all right, them start to shift to the third world country where they can get away with it. You know what I mean? Because guess what? When you people see the so-called white man come in, all right. And, and, you know, offer your free medical, you see, as something enticing. And you know, because the Stockholm syndrome is there and, and whatsoever master give you, eh, you know, that's, it's all well and good. There's no question about it, you know. See, so, hey, look, we're just, we're just, our people, our people is gone, man. I mean, and, 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 um, trust me, it, it, it's a thing we're in. We, 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 the only people, the only one that can see us, man, is uh, our Lord, you have about Shimei You know what I mean? That's just it. Alright? So, um, hey, we like to end this video right, right here. You know, persons can go on YouTube and search, um, you just gotta search up the video. You know what I mean? And do your own research. Alright? But, hey, I would advise you people out here in Jamaica, Right, and the Caribbean not to participate in this free healthcare thing because it is a sham, right? And you people are going to be experimented on, okay? All right, and hey, who knows, you might come back with something even worse, all right? Because these, these men do not, does not have your interests at heart, point blank period, all right? So that one is a shallow one.